hey, Quinn, this message is for you, specifically for you. The cards for this month show that there will be some sort of pain to my heart, that I'm going to need to endure some kind of pain, whatever that may be, whether that's a loss, heart attack, a health issue, what have you. So I want you to know this in case we have like a massive seizure episode or something and you lose memory. Today's meditation was on knowing that you're already approved and infinitely loved. A large part of what you have done to get love was as a result of your mom not being available for hugs or to acknowledge your life, to acknowledge you mattered. Even when you were cutting, she would take the knife but not say, I love you and I want you to stay or I'm afraid, I don't know what to do. She couldn't do that. But I think her taking the knife was her way of doing it. It was in her language. But she didn't know what to do about her kid wanting to hurt herself, okay? So even though your mom wasn't able to see you, even though your mom wasn't able to um, understand your need of being seen by her, knowing that you mattered, your life mattered to her, what happened to you mattered to her. Though your mom couldn't say it verbally to you, which is your main form of communication, is auditory, she loved you. And God was infinitely loving you during that time. God saw you and knew your worth. God knew your worth when you or no one else did. And God knows your worth now, and you know your worth now. So I know you're still hanging on to, to wait to get mom's approval. And I think this is a great conversation to have with your mother, just to um, own this for you in her presence, whether she agrees with it or not, doesn't matter, but that you are owning this for you in her presence. She is your mother. Um, and just that I to be able to let her know that you understand that she was trying to love you as best as she could. And that while she wasn't quite able to communicate it, God was loving both of us and knew us and knew our value at that time. So I want you to remember this. Should something happen to you this month, whether it's some sort of health issue, um, I'm dealing with a lot of stress right now, so I know that there's a chance that I could possibly have a seizure in the next week or so. Um, so I'm... I'm letting you know this in case your memory goes. You're wanted. You are wanted here. And the other thing from meditation that I want you to know, because you've lived this, and this is why you're being gang stalked, is you've gotten to where your light can shine. And you choose purposefully to shine in places where people choose to live in the dark. They just haven't learned to shine themselves just yet. Your ego goes to those places because you don't think you're worth enough to be around people who are already shining. You're afraid to be around people who are already shining to fully be you all the way out. So you go back to those dark places that you have came from. You came from those dark places because you had the same reaction to people who could shine. You go back into those dark places and you try to shine in front of people who you know what it's like to feel that way. That pain, that loss, that clinging to darkness and hiding. You shine there, one, to feed your ego. It's true, own it. Two, because you know that there's someone in the dark that's hiding, that wants to shine that wants to come out of the dark, that has been coming out at dusk when the sun goes down trying to build a tolerance to light, trying to come out. So that's why you go back. It's why you go back. But in that darkness, there are a lot more beings, a lot of beings that do not want to change, don't know how, they're afraid. 
They are afraid of the light. They're defending themselves as best as they can when something intrudes upon their space. They go out swinging and, and misunderstanding. That is what they do. They're just trying to protect themselves. And in doing so, they hurt you. And you're wounded. And you don't think that you're enough. You don't think that you're enough to shine with where people can shine. And you feel sad that you don't belong back in the cave anymore. And you stay near the cave hoping that somebody will come out who wants to shine. And they may hit you too. But maybe they'll, they'll take the opportunities to start coming out earlier and earlier to withstand the light, to be in the light, to move in the light, and then to be the light themselves. But that's the root of your pain. It's because you see the light in people. You see the light in people and they may not see it in themselves yet. They may not want it for themselves yet but you see it and you gravitate to those that you see. And you hope, you hope you can help to ignite them to be able to shine on their own, but it burns. It's too much, it's terrifying. And then they swing out trying to protect themselves. But that's what your addiction is, is staying, because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to see someone come out of the cave, come out of the dark, to shine fully, to dance. It's beautiful to see it happen, and you're addicted to watching that happen. And that's why you keep going back to those dark caves, and that's why you keep enduring the pain. And I don't know if it's your time now to go shine, just to go shine and be an example for those who are coming out of the cave who do still want to help those that are behind them and help the next person up to know that it's okay for them to go shine. That you don't have to stay here by the cave for the rest of your life. That that's the natural progression is for you to go and shine and to take whatever that next level is. So I want you to know this, this awareness that came in meditation today. For if I lose my memory... I can come back to it. I can come back to this awareness. And maybe I'll continue to shine. Maybe I'll start a class for people who are coming out of the cave. <laughs> I think maybe it's time for me to learn how to shine. It's what's happening with the interest in the voice acting and the balloon art. I think it's the time to come out and, and be fully myself as best as I can. And then once I've experienced it, maybe come back and teach lessons. I can just leave breadcrumbs for those leaving the cave to follow me. <laughs> so, just know that you're infinitely loved. You are already loved. You've always been loved. You've always been worthy. Always. Always.